So what makes me want to do a video, reply to this video? fact that a black woman is saying, you know, pretty much what I've been saying for the last three years on YouTube. fact that she didn't say anything wrong. fact that she made a bunch of sense in the whole video. fact that everything she said was logical and she didn't have to cuss to get her points across. She dropped one in there, but that's all right. But you have to look at the major, major, major big picture. What better way to control a group of people but to divide and conquer? You can divide a group of men based on how tall and how short, how big, you know, how stocky, how muscle, how fat, whatever. And you can break a group of people down by making them hate each other eternally. Um, I heard a lot of, that nigga ain't no good. Nigga ain't shit when I was growing up. And... 60 years of a person ain't no good and a person ain't shit will make a person no good and a person worthless. You can teach people not to give a damn about themselves. So, that is what happened to the black community. Instead of unity, it's all about I'm getting mine. Fuck you. That's the unity. The unity is my boys against the world. And then when they get in trouble, it's my boys against me. And then when the shit hits the fan, it's he did it. So when it comes to black people, there are no such thing anymore. We are just Americans now. We are not our own people anymore. We have not been our own people since crack cocaine. That's another way you can divide people. You get all those with the responsibility to raise the others to think about themselves. You get all of those with the responsibility to make sure the little ones learn. You teach them it's bleak. Then they will teach the little ones it's bleak. Then you open up a light. You give them a fast way to make money. And then you allow the ignorance and the shit that was not tolerated by those before to be mainstream. It's easier for me to say I'm going to shoot some nigga in his fucking face and erase that motherfucker off of this place than to say fuck this white man for what he did to me, my son, and my grandkid. That fuck the white man shit is not going to make it. That kill that nigga shit? Fuck that bitch. Fuck that hoe. I'll oh, make the bitch suck your dick and all that shit. All that shit was to belittle the black woman. And the black man. And the black people. Because you don't hear white people doing it. You don't hear Mexican people doing it. You don't hear Asian people doing it. And when you do hear those people doing it, they're singing songs made by one of us. So, I'm a great conspiracy theory man. And if I wanted to destroy a group of people, this is exactly how I would do it. But there's one more picture that we're not seeing. We're not seeing the overwhelming outcome of what's going to happen. And what is going to happen. is the complete breakdown of respect for one another. And it's not just happening in the black communities now, it's bleeding over. So all the young people are ignified, stupefied, chicken fried, and niggified. Because a nigger or a nigger is an ignorant person. And ignorance to your surroundings it's genocidal homicide. You get a group of people so hell-bent on living for now and for themselves. The main thing drains out. The plug is pulled out of humanity. And that is the biggest picture. The biggest picture when you got all these young kids willing to do nothing for nothing. Overseas, 
the kids rage against the machine, which is the government, which is those who control them. Here in America, we rage against ourselves. And that's how it is. You teach a bunch of people to be kids, children, blind, ignorant, and you get what we got. A group of people like Sergeant Willie P, you know, bashing black women. You can't blame a black woman for something her great grandmama told her, for something somebody else told her, something that the masters whipped into somebody else. Y'all niggas just ain't gonna be no good. And y'all niggas just ain't no good. Can't blame that on black people. Got to blame that on all people. The weak get preyed on. The strong, they run over everything. What way to make sure that you're strong is to make everybody else weak. You continue to feed people poisons that will kill them slowly because you still need them for something. Just like a pimple's got to come to a head. Everything will come to a head. Those respectful people will be in power once again. But the herd will be thinned out. Because now on TV, you see hints. And I've been saying this for the last few months. Go check out the Sears commercial. When the woman uh, bought the washer and dryer on the way You see the three women standing outside. One woman is looking. She says, well, how can they afford all this and this and this and this and this and this? And the guy says, smart shopping. They put their stuff on the way Then the black woman looks up. She says, I want her life. And then the white woman looks up and says, I just want her washer and dryer. But why did the black woman have to be the one that says, I want her life? Like the Marina, I think it's called Marina. It's some uh, birth control commercial. You got this black woman, light skin, high yellow, whatever, with her two kids in the, in the store, and the kids are just tearing up stuff in the store. And she's like, I don't want another kid, and just, life is so bleak, but they're living in a nice old house and everything. And then there's another part in the commercial where the, the woman is outside playing with her two kids, and a little black girl just walks up and kicks a bunch of leaves and shit in her mom's face. We don't do that. And it's a cell phone commercial. This is what disturbs me the most. Not the plight of black people, but the plight of white people. Because there's more white people than black people. And if they get as dumb as we are, that's going to be stupider. It's going to be more dumb people running the streets acting, quote me if you want to, black. Black was not a color when we were growing up. Black was what we were. We were told we were black. We weren't brown. We wasn't any other. We were black. This keyboard is black. What did they say? The page is white and the words are black or the letters are black and the page is white. You need to sit back and look at all the little small innuendos placed in front of us. Like I was saying, let me get back to the to another Sears commercial where they're showing the washer spinning in a certain different direction. These guys are all break dancing and white guys are like, yeah, what? I'm just tired of the hip hop, the hip hop culture bleeding off into society because we don't live like that. We don't act like that. If hip hop is a reflection of what I look like and what I am, that is not me. You feel me? And that's why I'm commanding this, this ladies on this video. Because if I was from outer space, I would avoid this shit too. I wouldn't fuck with white people, black people, or any other people in this motherfucker. If I was from space, I would just take over this bitch. Oh yeah. It'd be like Judgment Day for everybody. What did you do positive for people around you? And eh, fry his ass. What do you do, positive, for those to make the people around eh, fry his ass? And I will fry through every fucking race and nationality on this fucking planet until they're a group of people who gives a fuck about someone other than themselves. But hey, that's just me. That's just me. I would punish those people for benefiting from our loss. I would 